Josh's health wasn't perfect. We knew there was something up. Seven o'clock that morning, I got a call. He says, yeah, maybe I better go to the hospital. And I looked at the x-rays initially, and just saw a complete whiteout on the one side of his x-ray. CT scan, he come back up, and just in that moment, he asked if he could go to the washroom. I heard something in one of the bathrooms, and, um, and I was questioning myself whether or not I should actually just go in the bathroom and see what's going on. That's where I found Joshua, uh, very unwell, and, and there was blood everywhere. Apparently it was a total respiratory failure. Literally like a scene from a movie, there was blood everywhere. I'd never seen that before, no, especially from a 21-year-old. This was not a typical situation, and frankly, it, at that time, wasn't really that optimistic. If you're dealing with a reduced oxygen level for a prolonged period of time, it will damage multiple systems in your body. They said, like, you know, you better call family members in. And uh, basically, they're just preparing us to say goodbye. He needed an emergent bronchoscopy. He had coughed up um, um, a blood clot that was basically stuck in his breathing tube. And so as much as we could try to pump air and oxygen into his lungs, we just we couldn't get it in because the tube was plugged. So we pulled it out and we replaced it with a larger um, breathing tube. And then I used the bronchoscope to insert a bronchial blocker, which is a tiny little catheter with a balloon on the end of it. And I inflated that in the right lung to contain the bleeding in the right lung so that he could at least breathe with his left lung. As soon as we did that, his oxygen levels came up. I said, uh, I think they're trying to prepare us for the worst. It took us a good nine hours to stabilize him. Uh, according to the doctors I talked to, um, it would be like winning all the lotteries on the same day. <laughs> Had this happened an hour or two earlier at home, he would have died. At our hospital, a few months prior, when we didn't have a bronchoscope, he would have died. Sorry. It was, it was actually like a miracle to be able to see. How important are these donations and you know, what would you say to the people that are watching this? The main thing is thank you. If, if it wasn't for their help and support, um, Josh wouldn't be here. Yeah, their donations literally save people's lives. They may not see it that way, but yeah, it happens.